Question 3. Block B with mass M sub B rests on block A with mass M sub A, which in turn is on a horizontal tabletop as shown in the figure. There is no friction between block A and the tabletop, but the coefficient of static friction between blocks A and B at this interface is mu sub S. A string with negligible mass attached to block A passes over a frictionless, massless pulley and block C with mass M sub C is suspended from the other end of the string. Part A draws separate free body diagrams for blocks A, B and C. Part B, what is the smallest mass M sub B minimum that block B can have so that blocks A and B still slide together when the system is released from rest. Okay, so let's start with part A. Uh, so we're going to draw three free body diagrams. Free body diagram for block A. Uh, block A basically has a weight. There will be a normal force from the horizontal table. There will be a force exerted by block B on block A because they are in contact. There will be a tension on the string pulling it to the right. And there will there's no friction at this interface. But at this interface, we should have static friction pointing to the left, opposing the motion of block A with respect to block B. Okay, so having identified these forces, we can draw our free body diagram for block A. There is... mass of block A times G, there is a normal force on block A, there is the force exerted by block B on block A, which is um, MBG pointing down, there is the tension T To the right and there must be static friction pointing to the left and let's say that this is our uh, y-axis this is our x-axis so that completes the free body diagram of block A and as a result of this block A is accelerating uh, to the right with an acceleration A Let's draw the free body diagram for block B. Block B has a weight, mass of block B times G. It feels a normal force and B. Uh, there is static friction on block A that is pointing to the left here. So in order to uh, oppose the motion of block A with respect to B, since that's a mutual force between block A and B, it will be pointing to the right on block B. So static friction will be pointing to the right on block B. And as a result, block B is accelerating uh, to the right together with block A. Now free body diagram for block C. Block C has a weight mass of block C times G pointing down and there will be a tension on this uh, string that is pointing up and as a result block A, block C is accelerating uh, towards the uh, bottom in the minus j hat direction. Now notice that I have used the same tension on two sides of the string here and here. Why? Because this is a, a lightweight string, a massless frictionless pulley is here, so we don't have any uh, torque basically exerted on this pulley. 
uh, because it's uh, massless, and therefore we have uh, basically the same tension on the two sides. Remember that if this is a heavy string, this is not the case. The tension will change uh, depending on where it is uh, uh, being applied. Okay, so uh, in part B of the problem, uh, now we can write uh, the net force on block A on the y-axis to be equal to zero. So the normal force uh, that block A feels from the horizontal table is mass of block A plus mass of block B times G. And the net force on the x-axis, on the other hand, should be equal to tension T minus the static friction Fs, which is equal to mass of block A times A. For block B, we can write net force on the y-axis should be zero. So the normal force uh, on block B, which is the force exerted by A on B, is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction to MBG that block A feels, so it is MBG. The static friction, Fs, should be less or equal to mu s times the normal force, NB, which is mu s times MBG. The net force on the x-axis must be equal to static friction, which is mass of block B times acceleration A, which makes sure that block B does not slide against block A. So this acceleration A is basically static friction Fs divided by M sub B. From the free body diagram of block C, I have net force on the y-axis is equal to MC times A in the downward direction. So I can say it's MCG minus T in the downward direction. Okay, so putting uh, these together, I have one equation here, equation 1, and one equation here, equation 2, that relates the tensions. So the tension, I can uh, summarize uh, from this analysis, that the tension minus the static friction is equal to mass of block A times acceleration A. On the other hand, mass of block C times G minus the tension is equal to MC times A. So if I add these two equations, I will find that the tensions uh, will cancel because they are the same on both sides of the string. So I will find that MCG minus the static friction is equal to MA plus MC times A. Okay, so this I can write as uh, MCG minus MA plus MC times A is equal to Fs. And uh, at the same time, the acceleration, I can substitute uh, this result, is Fs divided by MB. So it is MCG minus MA plus MC times Fs divided by MB is equal to Fs. So in Fs parentheses, I have here 1 plus MA plus MC divided by MB is equal to MCG. So this gives me static friction Fs is equal to, uh, if I multiply the first term with M MB over MB, so this term can be written as MB over MB. So I will have as a result static friction equals MB MC G divided by MA plus MB plus MC. So this should be less or equal to mu S times MBG. So we have this condition here mu s times mbg. So mbgs will cancel, mbg will disappear. 
and I will be left with one condition which is uh, MC must be less or equal to mu s times mu s times ma plus mc also mu s times mb plus mb so uh, i can isolate mb here so you can see that if i take this to the left hand side i will get 1 minus mu s 1 minus mu s mc minus mu s ma divided by mu s should be less or equal to mb so we can also write this as 1 minus mu s over mu s mc minus ma is equal to mb minimum value so let's put this into parentheses here okay so uh, basically in order to draw the free body diagrams i have identified the forces on a i have the weight of a the force exerted by b on a so there's ma plus mbg pointing down normal force which opposes these two there is tension on the string and because we are trying to move a to the right with respect to b a static friction will develop to the left on a now on b i have mbg the normal force and the static friction on a is to the left that means it is to the right on b due to newton's third law uh, C feels the tension and its weight, and as, as you can see, it's not touching the table. And uh, writing the equilibrium condition on the y-axis, I see that the normal force uh, on the block B is MBG, which states that static friction should be less or equal to mu s times the normal force, mu s MBG. Net force on the x-axis is Fs, which is responsible for the common acceleration of A, B, and C. So MBA, so A is Fs over MB. On the other hand, from the motion of block C, I have, since C is accelerating, uh, in the minus j hat direction mcg minus t is mca and putting equations one and two together i solve for static friction and substitute for a fs over mb that i found from free body diagram of b and writing that the static friction should be less or equal to mu s mbg we can find the condition by isolating mb on the right hand side mb minimum should be 1 minus mu s over mu s times mc minus ma.